Chi-square test of independence is used when you wish to explore the relationship between two categorical variables. It is based on a cross-tabulation table. The frequency of each category of one variable is compared across the categories of the second variable. Before perform chi-square test, we should build research questions. So I will explain how to build research question while doing the analysis. Normally, research questions for chi-square test is like this. Is there an association between gender and smoking behavior? Are males more likely to be a smoker than female? The second step is develop a null hypothesis and corresponding alternative hypothesis. I will explain how to develop null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis according to your research question while doing analysis. Statistical hypothesis normally consists of two parts, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So null hypothesis, a basic claim, mostly about assumption like no correlation, no difference, no effect. So the null hypothesis is upheld as long as there is insignificant evidence for the alternative. Alternative hypothesis is an alternative claim that assumes that there is a correlation, a difference, or another type of results. So, most important step is check the assumption for a chi-square test of independence before you run the chi-square test of independence in SPSS or any other software. These are the assumptions for chi-square test two variables measured at an ordinal or nominal level. That means two variables should be categorical data. We can't use continuous data for chi-square test. Random sample implies that participant in your sample had an equal probability of being selected. Each person or case can be counted only once. They cannot appear in more than one category. Example, multiple responses or select all that applies type of questions imply that the respondent is counted more than once. Therefore, these questionnaire items are not suitable for chi-square test. The lowest expected frequency in any cell should be at least 5. Example, for a 2 by 2 table, it is recommended that the expected frequency be at least 10. Let's move on to analysis. These are the two variables for our analysis. First one is gender and gender have two categories, female and male. And the next one is what type of pet related content do you engage with the most on social media? So that also have two categories, cute pet photos and video and pet care tips. Let's build the research question according to our variables. So we can build our research question like this. Is there a significant association between gender and the type of pet related content engaged with the most on social media? According to research question, we can build our null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis like this. Null hypothesis. There is a no significant association between gender and the type of pet related content engaged with the most on social media. So our alternative hypothesis is there is a significant association between gender and the type of pet related content engaged with the most on social media. Let's see how to perform chi-square test using SPSS. Go to analyze then descriptive statistic and then cross tabs. Then it will open cross tabs window like this. Put gender into row, put that pet related content into column box. Then click the statistic icon and tick the chi square test and click continue. Then click OK. This is our output results. After performing chi-square test, you will get these three tables. First one is case processing summary table and the second one is cross tabulation table and the third one is chi-square test. Case processing summary will show your sample size.
So the cross tabulation shows that female engage more with all type of pet related content on social media than males. Cute pet photos and videos are the most popular for both genders. Females have higher engagement in pet care tips and challenges while product review are slightly more popular among males compared to the other categories. Chi-square test was conducted to examine the association between gender and the type of pet related content most engaged with on social media. So, in our table, the Pearson chi-square value is 4.067 with the degree of freedom of 3 and the significance p-value of 0 0.254. Since the p-value is greater than the conventional significance level of 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. This indicates there is no significant association between gender and the type of pet-related content engaged with the most on social media. This is how we interpret our results. See you on the next video.